Hello viewers and welcome back to another episode of Electric Drive Africa. Today we are covering Opibus, a Kenyan-based EV manufacturer. They focus on manufacturing electric two-wheelers and three-wheelers, as well as converting ICE vehicles to EVs. They are now looking to break into the public transport sector by converting Kenya's famous matatus to electric buses and minibuses. As for the electric two-wheeler, they are set to launch this product in Kenya by summer 2021, which is around June 2021. We got the opportunity to speak to three engineers working at Opibus, as well as CEO and co-founder Philip Lofstrom at the Opibus HQ in Nairobi, Kenya. So my name is Philip Lofstrom. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Opibus. Our, our target is to create electric mobility that's available to everyone, and not only the select few. We're doing this through a myriad of different ways, but the primary focus is to do conversions of vehicles. Not only building new vehicles, but in a more resource efficient way, making sure that we can put electric mobility with the masses. It cuts cost on investments, it cuts cost on operating, it cuts your running cost uh, down to less than half. Um, so the way we have done this is that we've established our operations here in Nairobi, Kenya, where our headquarters is, where we're focusing on employing as much local talent as possible with extremely talented Kenyan engineers, um, where we provide the electric vehicle knowledge, and we have them take that further and develop further than we ever could. Um, this has created a fantastic organizational culture with um, close to a majority of of, uh, women where we have 40% women and 60% men across the management down to operations. Yeah, so essentially if we want to make sure that we have a strong electric mobility uptake in this region by 2030, we need to make sure that we have the knowledge, capacity and competence to actually do this. We need engineers here that knows how to build, manufacture, assemble electric vehicles. This is one of the keys to this uh, whole uh, mobility evolution. Opibus plans on diversifying and penetrating different African markets with the electric two-wheelers. Two-wheelers are extremely popular throughout the continent, majority of them being used as taxis and some for last mile delivery services. We were curious to know how they plan on scaling Opibus and how they structure their production process. One of the keys to actually do this is to make sure that we focus on having a low capital intensive production lines to make sure that we can as easy as possible scale this as much as possible. So making sure that the production lines that we put up that reaches a capacity of 15 per month can actually be duplicated and multiplied over, over the continent. The same goes for um, electric motorbikes to make sure that we have an easy way of manufacturing this because electric vehicles are a lot easier than um, combustion engine vehicles. And what's even easier is to do conversions instead of manufacturing them. Opibus has about 70 employees with 40% being female. Let's hear from Lucy, an R&D engineer in the micro mobility department. Hi guys, my name is Lucy. I am a mechatronics engineer by profession and within Opibus, I'm a research and development engineer that, and I serve within the micromobility department. So as a micromobility team, we are now coming up with electric motorcycles. These are targeted to border border riders who um, operate within um, Nairobi and its environs that serve to carry cargo, passengers, and also just leisure driving. The reason why we chose to target Boda Boda drivers is because the Boda Boda sector is rapidly growing in Kenya and in Africa at a rate of 5% per year. Boda Bodas are known to really contribute hugely to the carbon footprint, and therefore targeting this particular segment um, has a global impact, a, a larger impact when it comes to reducing carbon footprint. So as a local motor, electric motorbike conversion company, we are creating jobs, saving money for the border border riders and keeping Africa green. So these bikes are created in Kenya for Africa. Opibus's manufacturing unit sources 30% of its components locally, allowing there to be easy access to spare parts for riders and contributing to local industries. Let's hear from Masa, an R&D engineer who specializes in two and three-wheeler development here at Opibus. 
He'll give us an overview of the two-wheeler specs. Hello, my name is Masa. I'm one of the mechanical R&D engineers here at OP Bus. We deliver products that are durable, safe and easy to use for the customers. Our bikes include LED front lights, swappable batteries and this electronic displays. Um, our battery packs are 2.5 kilowatt hours and our motor is a 3 kilowatt hour motor that gives you a range of 80 kilometers per hour on the road. So we've been designing the bikes specifically for the use case in Africa. Um, Bada Bada bikes are used for motorbike taxis as well as transporting goods all around in city centers through traffic as well as in rural areas on dirt roads. The bikes, we've designed the bikes specifically for this use case so that you can carry up to 250 kgs even on dirt roads and still carry your range. The swappable batteries allow you to reduce downtime and you don't have to wait for your battery to charge. Instead you can just change the battery and replace it with a fully charged one in under 10 seconds. So this is how our bikes look. They're very user friendly and easy to use. Um, this is our battery pack, it's 2.5 kilowatt hours. It is openable and you can just pull out your battery and swap it at the swapping station or at home. Here we have our 3 kilowatt motor. This is quite a fast motor, it can take you up to 120 kilometers per hour. Inside this cover we have our controller. This is the brains of the whole bike. We have our digital display up front. This shows you the speed, the current you're using, your battery status, and any errors that are up that can arise on the bike. We have our headlights and our control panels on either side to give you forward, sports mode, turn on your lights, indicators, horn, parking, as well as reverse. Our bikes do have reverse. Um, here we have our storage compartments one on either side. On this side you can put your charger, on the other side any accessories or commuting items that you need to carry. Let's move over to the conversion side. We speak to Lumbi Muchui, a mechatronics engineer here at Opibus, specializing in electric conversion systems. I'm Lumbi Muchui, mechatronics engineer for the R&D division of Opibus and we've been working on the conversion of safari vehicles for the past few years. We started with safari vehicles because they're a key sector in the wildlife industry, a key sector that we are trying to save. We've been working on creating a system that's more that can be transferred from one vehicle to another in easy swappable systems and therefore we'll be able to convert more than just safari vehicles to everyday public vehicles and private vehicles. Currently, we are focused on moving to the public sector and public means of transportation in minibuses and small vans that are used day to day by Kenyans. Currently, in Nairobi alone, we have over 25,000 matatus and minibuses, and this is a key sector in involving majority of the key players in converting vehicles from pub, from the IE engines to electric, and therefore majority of the public will be able to use electric vehicles. The reason we focused on conversion of vehicles is because majority of the vehicles that come into the country are used vehicles and at the moment there are thousands of vehicles on our roads today that do not need to go to the junkyard and instead can be converted into new lives, new electric vehicles that will instead boost um, the, our quest for having a fully EV market. So the process of conversion begins with a vehicle coming into our workshop. We start by inspecting how it is at the present moment, what functionalities it still has um, from its IC and trying to match or even surpass its current uh, performance levels. As you can see behind me is one of our conversion vehicles and the process begins by removing the ICE engine, the fuel cell and every other component that we do not require. This includes the gearbox. However, for four-wheel drive vehicles, we maintain the transfer case, but we still want to ensure that our vehicles can still continue functioning um, off-road. In the conversion process, we use our modular drivetrain, where we have a primary battery box, the drivetrain components, and a secondary battery box when uh, that's necessary. Um, at, the, at the moment, 
we have 30 kilowatt hour options, 40 kilowatt options and up to 50 kilowatt options and all of these have served our customers as well. One of the key benefits of our conversion process is the new life that our vehicles gain. Our vehicles stand from the old IC engines that they were to vehicles that offer functions like fleet management, being able to track your GPS, your usage data, your consumption. All of this comes in a new infotainment system that our drivers and everyone who owns our vehicles finds very easy to use, very easy installation and very easy to work with. Errors and any other uh, maintenance issues are easy to um, to identify in, in, in our vehicles and therefore these vehicles not only become newer versions of what they were but much better improved versions of what the future should be. How we've been able to come this far and at the present moment the focus on the public sector um, involves not only the conversion of the public vehicles into electric vehicles but also the creation of an infrastructure that allows these vehicles to operate in a seamless manner, going from point A to point B in the easiest way possible, in the most efficient way possible, and in a way that both users and consumers really enjoy the best. Our passengers will be able to know in well-scheduled routes how the Matatus will operate, or rather minibuses, and all our all the players in the market will be able to not only manage their fleets, but also get the service that they deserve. Our system not only allows us to have a cost of operations that are low, but also allows us to have a clean, silent transport system. Electrifying Africa, one vehicle at a time.